Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good wind, windy morning. Windy morning, I and we're the wind's here. blowing all around the world. It is, I, I think. Yeah. And we're here at the restaurant yep. in Quartzite. Another breakfast time. So we're going to show some Quartzite stuff today. Okay. Sounds and there's good. the little restaurant right there. It's called Mountain Quail. Okay, we are back in Quartzite. And we're going for a walk with Maisie Girl. Down there, babe. Down there. So one thing that we had wrestled with a lot was what kind of table to put right here in the middle. Um, we had a black table, one of those plastic ones that fold in half. It was kind of awkward to find a place to store it really well. And it started um, bending and bowing in the middle right away. It didn't seem very strong. So anyway, we bought this one. We saw the broccoli bus. Aaron and Amanda had one like it. And it just fits right there under the couch so easily. and doesn't take any extra space. Comes with a nice carrying case. I'll put the link down below on where you can get this because I know some of you will want one of these because they're pretty handy. We're going to go outside and set it up and you can watch how easy that is. What are we getting ready for right now? We're getting ready to do a campfire and we have a couple of people invited over to uh, do a little meet up with us so it'll be fun. Okay so this is easy enough that even I can do this by myself most of the time. So first we'll put the, uh, the base of it up and this is really sturdy also very lightweight because it's aluminum. Just pull that apart, pull that apart. And this is the base. Then the top part of it, or the, yeah, I guess the top part, what you say. There it is. It's also aluminum, not heavy. Put it right on there like that. It has these little clips that 
go right below that right there and hook on. And as I said, most of the time I can do it by myself. No, really, I can. There we go, that's one. And that's the other one. Clip under there, under there, and it's all set, nice and sturdy. I love it. Thank you, Broccoli Bus, because we saw their kids put it up, and we figured if they could put it up, I could probably learn to do it. So, <laughs> so here it is, and we'll put the link below how how you could get it if you want one of these. I think they're really great. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We found a really wonderful fire starter. Actually, um, our friends, Tom and Connie, told us about this. What you do is you just take ashes right out of the fire. That's what that is. And you make a little paste. And you add by adding diesel to it. So you take ashes, you add diesel to it, and you put it back in a seal type, um, something that's kind of sealed. And it works better for starting fires than anything we've ever seen. So I'm just gonna put a spoonful right up there. Since we're doing this outside, inside it just takes a little tiny spoonful. And then we put some down here. Underneath, you see I got me a little teepee going there. And it lights so quickly and so easily you can see it's already burning nicely there. Okay, that's burning nicely there. Takes about a matter of about, what, five seconds to do that or more? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't take long, that's and for it sure. Burns long enough it doesn't it like, when you light it, it doesn't like spark or blow no, no, up no. or anything at all, it just lights. So so what it does is it gets, it burns plenty hot enough and it will have that whole thing lit very nicely by the time um, the paste burns In a very up. short time, yeah. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Thank you, Tom and Connie. Thank Good you, one. Tom and Connie. Our fabulous friends we have a standing date with once a year. Yeah, that's right. Just before, <laughs> Just before Christmas, for the last three years, we've gone together to eat out and to go to a Christmas play that we love, and it's been wonderful, and um, we just bless them. Thank you, guys. Well, we've taken a little walk. About how many washes do you think we've gone through, babe? Little creeks. I don't think she's listening. It is extremely windy today. And we are walking back to camp. Through the trees. Probably, do you ever use that, Jim? 
I don't know that, but that? show me that again. I'll try to learn it. That is a, and I always like BB King showed me that when I was young. Mm -hmm. When I played with him, he said, "Do it the old style that we do." And now they're doing all the bridges now. Yeah. And the B7s and all that. Mm -hmm. And he, and I always took that, and every time I would do it, everybody said, "Oh man, show me that." And it's very simple. It's a good sounding guitar. I carry an electric with me. Can you believe that? With a little baby amp. So we are here in Quartzsite again, and um, we were here during the busiest time, I think, which is when they have that rock and mineral show and when they have the big tent and everything. And then um, right now, we're, it's quickly, people are leaving and it's kind of becoming almost deserted except for the people that live here of course full full time year round but over here in this parking lot over here it was filled with stuff and this whole area up here at the front was filled with motorhomes for sale and they're all gone now um, almost all of the little tent places that they had are packing up or have already packed up. Here's some of the, I'm gonna turn right here and this is down Main Street, which is kind of the main, woo, there's a sun going right into the sun. I'm gonna shoot over to the side. But there's some, uh, some little tent things left that probably most of those will be gone by um, April 1st for sure. A lot, lots and lots and lots of them have already disappeared, but we like it in the busy season, and we've enjoyed it in the not busy season. It's really they fun. Got a few palm trees in yeah, place, they brought they? a bunch of palm trees in here. Holiday Palms. That's a place where uh, an RV park, and it's still pretty full. But the land out there where we are, the long-term visitor centers, they're getting. Uh, visitors areas I guess they're getting uh, pretty deserted aren't they not they many are. people out there and then we will probably stay here our pass is good for a while longer we'll probably stay there and then when we leave there we'll go to uh, we may go out to High Jolly which is the campground north of town where we were before and stay out there for a few days before we leave to go on and start head back east a little ways. So it's been wonderful. We've really enjoyed this little town. And this is the main drag right here. As you can see, there's not a lot here. Um, as far as restaurants and stuff, there's a few fast foods. There's two or three restaurants right here on this road. There's a Silly Al's Pizza, which we haven't been to, but we've heard that it's good. There's a, down here there's a Dairy Queen and a Burger King and a Carl's Jr. and some little fast food places, a Subway, that stuff. There's also a McDonald's. Cup, McDonald's. There's also a couple of other places to eat down on the other end of, of this street if you turn right where we turned left and you'll see some other places down there to eat, but not a lot. There's one little restaurant right there called the Times Three family restaurant and we actually ate there one time it was it was when the big tent was in town and those girls were running their legs off it was so extremely busy and we haven't been back to there since then and I guess it's because it was so busy we we, we didn't want to go back but I don't think it's that busy all the time so anyway we're gonna find us something to eat here and uh, is this where you want to go? Yeah, maybe so. We'll see. Okay.
think this is the official graveyard for Quartzite. They say there's a lot of pioneer grave sites that we're going to look for here. <laughs> 